It's Python on Hardware time. All right, so this week in the newsletter, we have a CircuitPython 7 update. 7.3.2 has a bunch of bug fixes. Yes, Dan Halber has been actually fixing a lot of issues with um, airlift boards and libraries and, and just cranking through a bunch of stuff. Um, so even though we are working on 8, which is uh, has a lot to do with Wi-Fi and workflow um, and adding ESP32, support um we are still keeping up to date with 73 um series and of course will all, all of those changes will um, be in eight as well so we you know if you if you're up for it please use eight um but we definitely recommend if you're still on seven to upgrade to 732 particularly if you're using airlift boards yeah um so we noted that we hit our uh latest milestone in discord thank you everybody we have about Almost 5,000 people there at any time, and then all together 35,000 people. Our Discord's a little different than other Discords for folks who uh, are multiple servers. So our goal isn't to have like 35,000 people all there at once. And I know like Discord will give you uh, certain perks if you're a community or server or brand or company, if you have like massive amounts of people at the same time. Um, what we usually have is people who come in for help showing their projects, and then they go and make stuff. So uh, we don't they have as, others. yeah. So we don't have as many of the uh, Discord perks that they give you, but we do have a lot of members. We just don't have them all at the same time, but we still have quite an, quite a bit. So, anyways, if you're wondering like why we don't have all the same flare buttons and stuff like that, there's a panel inside of Discord that says um, you need to have like for the number of people you have, you have to have more people on at the same time. And I've tried to explain this to to Discord that we're a little different, but I get it. Like. The, we're unusual for uh, how we use things. Um, we always we always kind of use things and maybe how they're not intended, but that's why we're all here. Um, so anyways, tons of projects and more. I thought there was a pretty neat um, entry in the newsletter uh, and did a post and also put it in there. It's like, how do you how do you steer all of Python? So there's an article it's a about- a big project. There, yeah, there's an article, it's like, how does it actually work? What does the steering committee do? What does the Python Software Foundation do? What's the benevolent dictator role in the past? You know, all those things. Um, so check out all the different stories and more, all the things that we do every single week. Um, oh, that's nice. No motor. A little blink is nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice she, graphic. She wants a TB661 yeah. too. Lots of uh, e ink and badges and more. And then uh, Joey's been kind of like doing a real time thing with like, here's how I do drivers with CircuitPython. So uh, all that being said, the thing that I'm really excited about is uh, CircuitPython Day, which is August 19th, Friday. Coming up in about a month. And four weeks. Uh, this is from uh, Kmatch. And these are the CircuitPython powered tablets and we're giving them away. And here is a note from Tim. Hello everybody, Foamy Guy here. Today I'm excited to share the details for the CircuitPython hack tablet giveaway. There are links to this announcement and the entry form in the description below. To summarize, you may now enter to win an ESP32 S3 powered hack tablet using the entry form linked below. On August 3rd, we will select the first three individuals to receive tablets, giving priority to those willing to help test or develop this functionality for two out of those three tablets. On August 26th, we will select two more individuals to receive the remaining tablets. Everyone who didn't get chosen on the third will be automatically entered, along with anyone who submits an entry form prior to the 26th of August. Thank you for watching, and special thanks to Kmatch for making this giveaway possible. So that's kind of a big deal. We're going to have um, Circuit Python powered tablets that we're going to send out the to some folks. The recycle tossed out yeah. stuff. So there was a question in the chat. We'll, we'll bundle this up into the um, uh, Python on hardware mm -hmm. section because I think it's interesting um, from your point of view, Lady Ada, because you're one of many people who work on CircuitPython. But um, when do we decide to do something like, oh, um, CircuitPython 732 is solid enough. When do we say it's time for eight? Um, well, eight's being worked on right now. Um, the question is when, it, when eight's ready. And the yeah. answer is uh, when we have enough people who've used it, given us feedback, and we've finished up the um, bug list. So we have a bunch of issues and bugs tagged in CircuitPython. People who are beta testing open them and also we find them. 
and also uh, there's stuff that we want to get finished in development. Um, we'd like to get, you know, an alpha or something or a, a release candidate or a beta out Circuit Python Day. So um, the thing that you can do to help is uh, try out eight, um, alpha, whatever we call it, uh, mainline, latest release, and uh, let us know what doesn't work uh, so that we can fix it and that'll get us closer and closer to the release. Yeah. Um, just like maybe in your experience seeing other open source projects or even, you know, our work with CircuitPython, do you think it's an amount of time where we're like, oh, like seven is stable, let's start experimenting with eight, or is it like a combination of two, like where we want people to break eight because we have a bunch of changes, like when, is it time, is it use? It's, it's both, um, you know, we, we do major releases when we have major changes. So for example, I think the MPY format might be changing. Um, because we are we keep upstream with MicroPython, right? So yeah. when they make a big breaking change or something that really changes the experience, that's a major revision. Otherwise, we just keep using the, the version we're on right now. For A, we're adding you know this Wi-Fi workflow. It's a pretty big change. We're adding ESP32. It's a different way of, of using CircuitPython boards. It's a new family of chips. Mm. Um, and so for that, we wanted to go in at this MPY change. There's a couple other breaking changes, I think. Um, so what we try to do is like, you know, if we remove something, um, that kind of goes into a major revision as well. So that's how we know when to move from seven to eight. Yeah. And then let me go to adafruit.com slash new. Um, for, uh, for folks that are super fans, so we don't have a lot of these, so that's why we're not putting it in the new product section, but I'll put this in the like Python on hardware section. So if you scroll down, because this was a coming soon product, you will notice, da, 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 da. did I pass it? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's only 14 left, but we have CircuitPython 8 posters because we try to make sure we have posters for the team. Um, and this one, we got special permission from Espressive to do a uh, CircuitPython launch poster. Yeah, so cool. there's only 14 left, um, and that's probably going to be it. Uh, yeah, we don't we we don't make more. Yeah, probably going to be it. So if uh, you were wondering when eight's going to be out, usually a poster happens, and then a few things happen later. And that's this week's Python on hardware. Don't forget, you can get this delivered to your inbox every week. It's a completely separate site because we don't believe in spamming or anything like that. And uh, that's this week's Python on Hardware Lady Data. Thank you, Blinka. Okay.